So I thought I would give myself a little challenge. I use this clipboard while I'm working, and the other day um, I broke it. And I said, you know, let me go buy myself a new one. But then I thought, why don't I challenge myself to make a new one? I've got this hardware on there, and I bet if I get some clippers, I could clip that off, use the quarter-inch plywood I had laying around here, and spend no money, and not measure anything, and spend less than an hour making it. If I could do that, then I feel like it was a successful challenge. So let me go ahead and grab some uh, nippers, and we'll nip off the rivets that are holding it together. Actually, that sounds like a cool band name. Yeah, man, we're going to go see Nip the Rivets. Oh, well. Back to the project. <laughs> Alright, and uh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'll be able to reuse this and uh, use some epoxy and some screws to hold it down. And next step is let's uh, measure out the, uh, the size it'll be for the paper. So instead of getting a tape measure, we'll just grab some paper and, and kind of make a rough estimate on it. Again, we don't have to be real accurate. Just want a little about a quarter inch lip around each side. So I'll just lay it down make a couple marks and bring it over to the table saw. Okay, now that it's uh, all sized up, I'm going to take it over to the uh, sander here. Because it is plywood, I want to make sure that I don't get any splinters. And I'm going to just uh, round over all of the corners and then uh, uh, round over the edges and make quick work of this plywood so it's ready to be finished. So in this case, my finish of choice is boiled linseed oil. I figured after I apply a couple coats of that, the plywood will soak it up really nice. And then once that's done, I can get out a little uh, can of spray lacquer. And once it's dried up, I'll hit it with some spray lacquer. And for a clipboard, that should be suitable. Just marking the spots that the screws are going to go. And uh, a little two-part epoxy. I'll mix it up nice. And between me applying a generous amount of epoxy to the back of it, as well as a couple small little screws, I think this will hold that clipboard down, well, the hardware anyways, down pretty well. Uh, one note is that these uh, are a little longer, uh, and they're going to stick out the back a little bit. So what I'll do is see how they're kind of pointed out a little bit, is I'll bring it over and just sand them down. That's simple enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the epoxy would have been strong enough, but I think it might have uh, a couple little screws in there will help out uh, for it to be a little bit more secure. All right, and there it is. My little uh, custom clipboard made with some uh, scrap uh, quarter-inch plywood I had laying around. And there we go. It uh, took me about an hour in total to set up the camera and to shoot the video. And now I have my little clipboard. Didn't cost me anything. And it would be a perfect project for a beginner. Simple project, limited tools. And uh, hey, I hope you enjoy and It inspires you to kind of go ahead and make a couple for yourself. And... Uh, and if you bust it up, it doesn't matter because it didn't cost you anything. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks. And see you on the flip side. The flip side. <laughs>